Cecilia. How are you? Hey, hi, Levine. How are you? Who else we got on? I usually do go on at um, 2 o'clock on Wednesdays, but I was doing um, YouTube. So, I just feel I get better exposure on Facebook. I mean, you guys don't find me on YouTube. And I like you better. <laughs> now, usually there's only one or two people watching when I'm on YouTube. And, you know, I'm sharing all the videos. So, and of course, I'm a little late because all the puppies decided to start pooping all at the same time. So, I had cleanup duty. <laughs> all right we're going to do a baseball wreath today i made a sign a piece of glitter on it i didn't have glitter in this stuff but it says there's no place like home and when i list this on etsy there's room down here i can also um personalize it for whoever purchase it, the sign, or the kit, or the wreath. Uh, I'm, I'm going in 50 different directions today. Plus, we got some baseballs, which I have a lot of, so if anybody needs baseballs, I have them for sale. We have baseball ribbon, and then checks and polka dots. I thought that looked really American. Now all we need is apple pie. <laughs> all right, we're using a 14 inch wreath base. Actually, it's 15 inch wreath base. I cut all my ruffles at 18 inches. Yes, I did, Levon. It's, it's done on my, my brother's scanning cut, which is just like a Cricut. That, this, Thing gave me a little bit of a time today. I also found a baseball bat and I tried to paint it and I'm not happy with it so I'm gonna have to either find another one or figure out something else to put on it. Alright so we're gonna do all the blue ruffles on the bottom and then we're gonna add this mesh that has the three colors in it. How's Harless today? So I'm going to ruffle right up the middle. I did get the, the design for that sign online. I didn't make the design myself. I just cut out the vinyl and put it on the sign. Can everybody hear me okay? Coming through loud and clear? I've been wanting to do this baseball wreath for a while. But sometimes I have to think on the design for a while. Something has to inspire me or I don't do it. Like I have a fireman's wreath over there I'm trying to make a hose for. Again, I know what I want it to look like. I just haven't put it all together yet. But 
but I'll get it. I was even going to do a farmhouse one. Hey, Casey. Welcome. Are we the only ones left behind that didn't go to the go to the wreath makers live? <laughs> Thanks for sharing that, Casey. I tried to and I couldn't. I don't know what was going on. I'm using 18 inch ruffles. We're doing the blue on the bottom, and we're using this sign. We're making a baseball wreath. I got baseballs in my shop. They're for sale, too. There's a company that I buy from, and when you buy from them, you have to buy in large quantities. So... It's just nice to be able to pass that discount on to everybody else. So how's everybody doing today? Good? big order coming in today and I was hoping it would come in before my husband got back from pickleball but it didn't so when he comes home <laughs> it's going to be sitting right at the back door huge shipment I got a really great deal on black pine wreaths and they look awesome with pumpkins or anything like that put on them. Of course, you can only buy it in quantities of 24. So, I got 24 wreaths coming in along with lots of Halloween ribbon, more bats, more spider webs. I know. <laughs> After I just made them pay for the tires for my car. My car needed all new tires. Oh, well. You should know me by now. We were married 30 years in May. So he knows when I do something, I go big or go home. So I went big. All right, we're gonna do the, the mesh on the top, the, the tan with the three colors in it. I should put a sign up there that says, please don't leave it if you see my husband's truck in the driveway. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty. I had this set aside for a a truck wreath, which I'm still going to do. I have to make the sign. But I just think these colors would look really cool with the baseballs and everything. these orange or these purple pumpkins that I'm waiting on and they are gonna look awesome in that black wreath we were both married before Levon but I can say this was by far the best move I ever made 
he adopted my son and he has three daughters and then we have a son so it's just you haven't had to work at it it just was natural the other one you know is constantly working at it and the only one participating so yes they are our champions There aren't many people that would adopt someone else's child and raise them as their own. So I have to say he's he's a very special person. And I don't know where I'd be without him. Not looking pretty. I didn't want to do the poof because I have a feeling one of my puppy moms, the minute she sees this wreath, because they are so into baseball, she's going to want it. Congratulations, Dixie. That's awesome. Something that you really have to work on or it's not going to last. But I feel like I haven't had to because it's just... It just seems natural. <laughs> you should hear them up there. Boy, Mrs. Miss Miracle is fussing up a storm. I have to tell you a cute story about her. I went to feed her last night. For those of you who are, are new, I have a little Yorkie. She was a premature, she was born premature, and I was told she wasn't going to make it, and she's, she's come a long way, and she's a survivor. And last night, I put their food bowl down, and she started crying. She knew her mother was in the other room, and she took one look at that food and said, Nope, I want my mama. <laughs> so she got her mama. She's got teeth. As long as mama doesn't, doesn't you know, sass at her, I guess we're okay. She'll let me know if it's too much. Okay. Again, I wanted to go with 18 inch because I didn't want it too poofy. Just, just nice, flat. Okay, so I'm going to put the ribbons around the bottom first. I don't know that I'm going to put any on the top. I'm going to, there's... Some other stuff I might be using on the top. So, um, besides the, the balls. All right. So we're going to do the gray with the baseballs with the red. And again, I just wanted to go with something not real flashy, just something simple. Now you say that, Levon, did is your husband still around? Hey, Sherry. How's my little man? You all remember Sherry? She adopted little Amari. We should get Sherry to post a picture of the uh pirate ship her husband made for Amari. Little pirate ship treehouse. Oh my gosh. Complete with cannons. It is awesome. And a zip line. 
that little guy, he is just the luckiest little boy. If he can't post it, I can post it later. We're doing a baseball wreath. And your pool sign sold the one you liked. He's soggy. <laughs> Poor little guy. An acquaintance of ours just um, just got word that they're going to be fostering triplets and I'm not sure they know what they're in for oh I'm sorry to hear that Levon Air Force wow that's that's something to be proud of so are you all by yourself in Florida with Har Harless I got to get a drink. This is looking nice. I like these colors together. I got my contacts back, so I'm relying on my uh, my readers to see, and it's not easy reading the comments. So if I miss someone, please excuse me. No, I imagine he is a lot of company. What kind of dog is he, Levon? Or don't you know? Because he was a rescue, right? I love his face. I'll have to look that ridge back up. I've never heard of that. My one, um, I'm trying to think. No, it's a greyhound. I was tr my one puppy mom. She has <laughs> and that dog just walks around, and those little dogs just walk in and out of his feet, and he's he's so tall. Okay, we got our our tails in there. Like I said, we're just going to do the bottom layer. I may add some to the top. I'm just not sure yet how much space the sign's going to take up or the, the baseballs. I've got three baseballs to put on. So we're going to create our triangle with our baseballs. And then I think I'm going to do... Maybe we'll do them this way. 
Now I kind of like, let me see here. One, two, three. We don't have to use all three. See, my baseball bat didn't turn out the way I wanted it. I kind of wanted a ball and the bat. This looks pitiful. Let's see. Get out my little zip tie things. Here we go. And again, I I plan on whoever purchases this um, personalizing it with the name on the bottom, like King Family or whatever. Oh, I need my glue set up. Maybe we'll just go on to the bow while we're waiting for the glue to warm up. We'll do that. We'll just move all this aside and do our bow first. That'll help us with the placement. There we go. Do the red first. Does anybody have any questions so far? Thank you. Yeah, it could. It could definitely be. I have I have really nice truck ribbon and I'm making a truck sign and that will make a nice 4th of July too, but it's approaching fast. <laughs> So, it's like, do I do it now or do I wait for next year? I don't know. I think we're going to do like a 14 inch tail. I think I'm going to do four loops on the bottom. He's awful quiet today. You guys napping? <laughs> or just watching while you're busy? Okay, then we'll do the blue. 14 inch tail. I can go on afterwards, Sherry, and post it. I want LaVon to see it. Hi, 
Hi, Tracy. Welcome. Levon's from Florida, too. I'm glad you could join me. Us. We're very casual here. Everybody knows everybody else, pretty much. Levon lives with Harless. Sherry has a little guy that she just adopted after 1,470 some days in the system. Poor little guy finally got his home. Permanent. Let's see if we have enough of this to do four loops. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Tracy. Do you have any children? Are you retired? Do you have pets? We got a bunch of Yorkie lovers on here. Sherry's one of my Yorkie moms, puppy moms. Tailing my ends. What's the weather like down there today, Tracy? Nice and warm. Now I'm going to do three loops, actually, two and then a small loop for the middle. I really love this color combination, the red, white, and blue. Middle sun and three boys. Okay. <gasps> you live near Levon? How exciting. Well, I plugged in my <laughs> glue pot, but never turned it on. Holy cow. It's just been that kind of day. Neat. Now, I want to pull this out, but I don't want to tighten it all the way because I want to slip some wire in there to tie it to the wreath base. Miss Levon is one of my biggest fans. She's a sweetheart. She visits me every time I'm on. So does Sherry, if she can. A lot of my puppy parents, they, they watch. My students, I do wreath classes out of my home. We just did some Unique in the Creek sunflowers last week waiting for more to come in because I got more people that want to take the class. Do you like to wreath, Tracy? I need my fluff box, ladies. And look what came in yesterday. Finally, my cow ribbon. I've been waiting for this haven't been able to find it. Everybody's been sold out. 
I want to make a cow leaf. Oh, thank you, Levon. I try to be. I'm not always, let me tell you. Well, if you ever have any questions, Tracy, don't hesitate to ask. I'll be more than happy to help you. I've been doing this for a long time, but um, just decided to get serious and make it into a business. So... That's why I joined up with... Lori, hardworking mom. I mean, both of her groups. She has really helped my business grow. She's awesome. Hi, Linda. Welcome. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. We have Tracy and Levine. They're from Florida. Sherry is one of my puppy moms. She lives nearby. I live in Hughesville, Pennsylvania. It's, believe it or not, um, outside of Williamsport. And Williamsport is the home of the Little Lake World Series. Have any of you ever watched that? I actually need a third loop on this in the blue. Aw, oh, thanks, LaVon. Just something to separate it a little bit. And see, I can do this at this stage because what I can do is I can add it to the back and tie it with the, with the wire. I pay Levon to say those things. <laughs> Checks in the mail, Levon. <laughs> oh my goodness. See? I can just add it to the back and tie it down. Because I don't like all that red against the red, so it needed another pop of blue in here and see I can just disguise it right in there all right let's 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 put this puppy on here and I think I'm liking it on this side I always do that for some reason I always put my bow on the, the right Maybe I should get out of my comfort zone and put it on the left. <laughs> I don't know. Do we want it on the left or do we want it on the right? Must be because I'm right-handed. I don't know. Well, I'm glad you're here joining us, Linda. That's awesome. What are the ages of your grandchildren? Oh, great-grandchildren. Okay, so you've got three great-grandchildren. So how many grandchildren do you have? And what's the weather like where you're at?
there much better all right my glue is finally on wow that's awesome i have four grandchildren one from my stepdaughter who's who remarried and she he had a son i have twin grandbabies it'll be two on halloween and then a granddaughter noelle who just turn five oh no we feel your pain this is I think the first time we've had three days in a row where it hasn't rained <laughs> you need rain Levon I'm gluing these cable ties to the back they are awesome for putting wire through. I'll just put the wire right through there and attach it right there. And then we'll create our visual interest with our three baseballs. Although I don't know, maybe, maybe that's too much white. See, maybe I ought to go back to the baseball idea and just put one baseball in and then get the bat and put the bat in there. I don't know. Hmm. We're at a crossroad on the design. Now what? Well, let's get our sign on there. Maybe I should have my husband just cut this to make it look like the plate, home plate. I know, I, th I thought... Maybe I just need to paint it a different color, Levon. Put that there, put this here, and then put the sign there. Because see, it's light enough. It wasn't going to weigh the bat, it wasn't going to weigh the base down. Um, but maybe I need to paint this, maybe I need to paint the bat red instead of this beige. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to paint the bat red, put it on there, put a baseball on there. That's what we're doing. Change of plan. I even have solid red ribbon. I could wrap it in ribbon. I think we're going to do that. Where are the wire cutters? Oh, we'll use these. Yes, white would be good too. Thing was, it was like purple and black. I'm like, I can't put a purple bat on this. That's not going to look right. <laughs> But then it may look washed out with the sign and the bat because they're both white. That's why I'm thinking maybe red would be better. Because then I'm not, all that white isn't competing on top. You know what I mean? So maybe what I'll do is I'll wrap it in ribbon instead of um, painting it. And only use one baseball. Well, I painted it beige because it was black and purple. And I was trying to 
like go with the beige in there, but I think the red is gonna gonna do it. I think that's what we have to do. Got to do what you got to do. And I think that's what we got to do. Find a hole through here. I like the white idea, but I'm just leery with the sign and the baseball. Because we want it to pop. Let's see. Let's just wrap it and see what we think. It'll give us a better visual. I tried to find a little child's wooden bat, but I couldn't. Nobody had any. My boys used to have one, but they've since grown and moved away. Both of them are making settlement on their, their newer homes. My one son's moving from an apartment to a house. The other son is moving into his second home and both going to settlement on well, what are the chances of leaving the I thought I pulled the pin out oh yeah yeah okay just for visual sake Maybe it needs to be navy blue. Let's try navy blue. And then you tell me which one you like best. I think it has to be navy blue. Let me, let, let's see what you think of the blue. <clears throat> and tell me which one you think looked better. The blue or the red?
I even thought, this is another idea. I'll throw another one out there at you and see what you think. You still have those two visuals in your head? Because I also have rope. It would take a lot, but or I could do the handle in rope and then the base. Dark brown, Linda. dark brown ribbon. Yeah, I do. All right, let's test the dark brown. And see how you like that. Ooh, Linda. This might be I have to do dark brown. You guys are awesome. I I don't know. I'm thinking the dark brown. Yeah, the gray would have worked too. Because we got gray in here. But I'm liking the dark brown. What do you all think? because brown and red go good together. It's another pop of color, which we didn't have in here. We could put the baseball over here next to the bat so it breaks up the white. I know, I, th I think it's the brown. Oh, Linda, thank you. That's awesome. I even have dark brown paint. So I can paint the bat dark brown. All right. You helped me solve that sticky situation. Yeah, I think she's right, Tracy. And then I, I even have some of these. These are like glittered. Um, what I've done in the past. Yeah, it does make the tan pop. Awesome. What I've done in the past with these, here, I'll use, <laughs> I have a teacher's wreath I have to make, so I got this big pencil, but these look awesome when you just do this. And you just put a few of these around, just as an accents. See? Isn't that cute? Can you see it? Like just put a few of those around just to give it another bit of dimension. Yeah. I think that's our uh, that's it. We'll put the ball over here. We'll put the baseball bat across here. That baseball bat cost me 49 cents, y'all. <laughs> I found it at the thrift store today. Like, I need a bat. Just three of those around. I think I'll use a piece of PVC pipe so it's a little, um, it's not as wide. I have lots of PVC pipe. I love working with PVC pipe. This is a tighter weave than that pencil. See, I knew you guys would be able to help me. I 
It just didn't look right black and purple for a bat. See, just, just a couple of those around. See, then that look cute just sticking up like that? Put like three of those around. Put my ball there and my bat across there. All right. It's actually like, it's just this wired like, okay, it's got on here. It's called glitter stems. I've had this probably for seven years. And I use it sometimes at Christmas or when I just need, like we've got the metallic in here. So I just wanted a little pop of something different, you know, because I didn't want to do the tails up top. I just thought that was just not what, what the customer would like. I say customer, she doesn't even know I'm making it yet. So once she sees it, I'm hoping she'll love it. <laughs> All right, so we go with brown across there, and then our ball. I could even put. I, I don't know. I kind of. I kind of like it better down here with this being in the middle to break that up. Don't you? All right. If you're interested in following me or, or wanting to know when I go live, uh, at the top of the comments there, there's the last link is to my bot. If you click on that and type in the word live, it will let you know every time I'm on. I go on Monday nights at 645 and I go on Tuesdays at 2. And... I may be throwing more videos in there because, um, or more lives, because there's some other um, new companies that I'm partnering with that um, I want you to see their stuff too. And there's also the link to my YouTube channel and my Etsy store and my Facebook page. We're not allowed to say there's three buttons across the L, the C, or the S. Hello, Cheryl. Thank you. We're not done. We're going to paint the, the um, bat brown. And we still put on the baseball and put a few more curly cues around. When I list this on Etsy, whoever purchases it, I can put their name on here. Like the Smiths or the whoever and personalize it I could just go sit out in the parking lot of the Little League World Series when it's on <laughs> I probably sell a bunch of them <laughs> does anybody have any questions these will be on my Facebook page they run $1.59 a piece. Um, if anybody's ever interested, I any wreath you see me make on a live, I can duplicate it if you want a wreath kit. If I can't, I will tell you at the beginning that these are items that I can't um, purchase again. But for the most part, like this wreath, the only thing I couldn't purchase is the bat. Um, but everything else, I can make it up for you. My wreath kits usually run between 42 and 52 and, uh, and shipping. So, don't forget to contact me if you have any questions. I really appreciate you uh, showing up today. 
And thanks for the advice on the bat. Brown will work. It's funny, when I go down there, I find a lot of cool stuff at, at the thrift store. And the girls will always say, oh, I guess she's doing a baseball wreath now. They just look at my items and they know what I'm going to do. Like when I bought the apples. Uh-oh, there's an apple wreath coming up. I like to do things a lot different than everybody else, so... I, I look for unusual items because that's just the way I like it. Okay, I'll try and post another puppy video tonight because I know some of you are going through withdrawal. <laughs> so, look for it. I should be able to do it no problem tonight. Okay. And if you ever even want a bow. And you know what? We got to give that bow away. Uh, there's a Deb Berkeley that won it. I have been trying for two weeks to um, get her to respond. I live in Hughesville, PA, Tracy. It's not far from Williamsport, which is the home of the Little League World Series. Yes, Yvonne loves puppies. So I think what I'll do is we'll we'll create another contest because I can't get her to respond so I don't because I want to make it on a live because I want the person to tell me what colors they want so um, I'll just look for look for another link um, you have to comment, like, and share. Oh, I'm not supposed to say those words. And then uh, we'll do a giveaway of a bow. I will make a bow on live for you and send it to you because we hit 500. Well, now we're, yes, I do sell bows. Now we're on to, um, we just surpass 680, I think. So for every 500 more I get, that's when we hold a contest. So we held a contest for 500. I've contacted the woman three times to tell her she won. She's not answered me back. So we got to give that bell away. And you will pick your ribbons. So look for it tonight. I'll repost it and uh, we'll give away, we'll give away a ribbon, a bow. I'll make it on a live and ship it to you, as long as you're in the United States. I don't ship international. Okay. All right, everybody. Have a good evening, and thanks again. Watch for pictures tomorrow. Either this thing is going to get decked out with ribbon, or I'm going to spray paint it brown. We'll get it right. Okay. All right, thank you all for stopping. Bye-bye.